Now, among those named in this year's New Year's Honours list is the veteran broadcaster Stuart Hall. He celebrated his 82nd birthday on Christmas Day and can now celebrate becoming an OBE as well. Stuart joins us from his home in Cheshire. Stuart, thank you so much for talking to us this morning. It's a real privilege to have you on the programme. You must be delighted. I'm absolutely delighted. I've been recognised at long last. A northern hack <coughs> in the twilight of his career suddenly has this on the thrust of him. It's wonderful. <laughs> I was, for a moment there, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to say, Stuart, that you're slightly yeah. caught for words, that you're a little taken aback by the honour. That would be a first, wouldn't it? Well, yes, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a shock, you know. Sometimes you, you look for the New Year's Honours list year by year, you're not on it, and then suddenly you are, and you think, whoopee, and the family are delighted. We're all delighted, and uh, it's a recognition for all I've put in. 50 years of charity work. I once raised a million pounds in 40 minutes for a charity, came back with a cheque for 25,000 pounds for my own favourite charity. I put a lot in, and at long last, I've been recognised. I'm grateful. Stuart, looking back over the last several decades of broadcasting, what would be the highlights for you? Oh, there, there are so many highlights. Uh, I think 15 years of knockout, the Custard Pie Olympics has been a classic in my career. I've always longed for things to go wrong. I love things to break down. Like you, sitting in your little studio, I used to pray that the film would break, that people wouldn't arrive, <laughs> and we could show ourselves to the public as we normally are. You're, you're surrounded by all of you. You can see, reading, you know, and now here we are. Do, 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 do. I, I used to dispense with all that and kick over the traces. I was called the Lord of Misrule. I only tell it as it is, the do yourselves do know. I used to love <laughs> kicking the ball around, just flinging words into the air like a machine gun, boom, 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 which I still do, and I shall continue to do, because I have no plans for retirement. Well, we're very <laughs> pleased to hear that, and as you've been talking, we, you won't have seen these, but we've seen some fantastic stills, some images of you going back over the years in some great outfits, I have to tell you, when, wearing some wonderful things. But tell me, you, your style that everyone loves, whether it's from its knockout days or, or more recently, of course, from all your sports reporting, still doing that now. Did anyone ever say, uh, do you know, you need to ease up on, you know, all these literature, the references to literature, did anyone ever say, come on, just stick to the subject? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, I've, I've just narrated the, uh, the exhibition for Tutankhamun, Hamoun, and, the, and the, the producer said, well, instead of that, like, he rose from the crypt like an ascending Atlantis covered in glory and gold. He said, do you mind sticking to the script, <laughs> which I've written? Because <laughs> I, I love everything covered in romanticism. I like to throw words about it. I had a headmaster called the Gowlighter, short back and sides, Teutonic moustache, who insisted that if I was going to mouth Shakespeare, pronounce it trippingly on the tongue, for if you pronounce it as you do today, I would as leave the town crier, spoke my words. And that's how I brought up in Shakespeare, goblets of Shakespeare, Byer and Shelley Keats. So that's what I want to do. I believe in English. It's a wonderful language to throw around. Stuart, what I'm curious about is I know that you go to the football matches for Radio 5 Live. When you're walking to the commentary box, do you just get mobbed by fans? How do you get there? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed, because that's why I love football. I christened it the beautiful game when I was 11 years old. Uh, I'm completely in sympathy with the fans. The game at the moment has been taken away by, by television and big bucks and corporate greed, but the soul, the heart and soul of football is in the fans. I walk on arm in arm with them down, down the road and they're all coming and the three little urchins from Liverpool said to me the other day, I was walking down, I said, hello to you, you're all right? I love that word you used last week, like, you know, Pelipotasic ubiquitous and I'm thinking this is glorious stuff that people are talking about what you've done and people you never expect to be talking about what you've done and I'm so grateful that's my career a sort of cataclysmic looking through a kaleidoscope and seeing what pictures coming up next oh Stuart well it's lovely to talk to you and I have to say I love that one of your highlights was the custard pie Olympics of course my favorite too we all love that Stuart congratulations ah. thank you so much for taking time out for us this morning have a great day Charlie said thank you very much indeed thank you I'll tell you what, there's a lesson for all broadcasters yeah. everywhere there. Should we just throw away the script now? Yeah, it's better that way. Go on uh, then. <laughs> 19 minutes past eight, we've got some headlines. Yeah, to go do. on, let's read the script, shall we?